the Ritz-Carlton residences in Boston offer a sophisticated five-star living experience. Located in downtown Boston, steps away from Boston Common, the residences at the Ritz-Carlton were meticulously crafted with the utmost attention to detail. In this video review of the residences, we will discuss everything you need to know about the building. We will tour several units and go over why these residences are a predominant component of the Boston luxury real estate market. My name is Charlie Smith. I'm a real estate broker with expertise in the greater Boston area and luxury real estate. I have completed several transactions in this building and I'm more than happy to assist with any questions. If you'd like to tour the residences or have questions about Boston real estate in general, you can find my contact information in the description of this video. The Ritz-Carlton residences are two iconic residential and hotel towers located in downtown Boston, Massachusetts. The towers were completed in 2001 and 2002. One Avery Street, known as the Ritz Tower 1, stands at 475 feet, making it the 29th tallest building in Boston. Two Avery Street, known as the Ritz Tower 2, is shorter at 446 feet and is the 33rd tallest building in Boston. The developers of this project were Millennium Partners and the building was designed by Handel Architects. This was Millennium Partners' first residential development in Boston. After the success of the Ritz-Carlton in 2001, Millennium Partners went on to develop other luxury condo buildings in Boston such as 1 Charles Street, Millennium Place, Millennium Tower, and Winthrop Center. When comparing the initial build of the Ritz-Carlton and Millennium Partners' later projects, you can see some key similarities in the design and quality. The residences are composed of two rectangular towers positioned 75 feet apart on Avery Street. The towers are clad in stone, creating a strong visual connection between the open space of the common and the bustling Washington Street. Each tower has a distinct design element, a glass and metal portion that rotates around the stone base. The North Tower also has a slight setback from the street, adding to the lively and dynamic atmosphere of Washington Street. All in all, the project's cost was over $600 million and included the two towers and several commercial spaces that included gym space, now occupied by Equinox, and a 19-screen movie theater occupied by AMC. This prestigious building comprises a hotel operated by the Ritz-Carlton, as well as the private residences. The tower features 40 floors, offering a total of 366 residential units and 190 hotel rooms. The homes and common areas of the Ritz-Carlton were skillfully constructed, offering residents a timeless high-end living experience. Residents of the Ritz-Carlton Boston include successful healthcare professionals, business executives, lawyers, entrepreneurs, and global real estate investors who appreciate the exclusivity and privacy offered by the building. The location near Boston's medical center, financial district, educational institutions, and research labs make it a top pick for predominant professionals in Boston. The building is also home to several sports stars and celebrities. Former Red Sox player Manny Ramirez owned one of the penthouse units before selling it in 2012. The towers won many awards, including the 2003 Award for Excellence from the Urban Land Institute and Project of the Year from the National Builders Council in 2002. The residences at 1, 2, and 3 Avery Street have their own private entrance and valet separate from the hotel. The units begin on the 12th floor and offer an exceptional living experience with a range of luxurious features and finishes. Every residence has ample natural light from the floor to ceiling windows and provide excellent views of Boston's landscape, including the Charles River and Boston Harbor. The generous layouts of each residence are expertly crafted, ensuring spacious rooms, kitchens, and living areas. The residences boast tall ceilings, reaching up to 14 feet high that create a more open feeling. Inside, the residences offer a variety of luxurious living spaces. These residences feature high-end custom kitchens with Viking gas stovetops and ovens, kitchen sub-granite countertops, as well as Sub-Zero and Wolf appliances. The cabinets in the kitchens are custom-made by Pog & Pull. In some residences, kitchens are closed off from the living and dining areas, while in other units, kitchens are in an open concept style. The spa-like bathrooms have quartz double vanities and marble baths. Throughout the units, there is Brazilian cherry hardwood flooring and floor-to-ceiling windows with motorized blinds. The natural light and hardwood floors create a great ambience throughout the homes. Several units in each tower have terraces and some even have full-sized balconies. Many of the units at the Ritz still have their original features, however some have been customized with new floors, finishes, and appliances. In units with over two bedrooms, owners have a marble floor in the foyer, which is a unique feature not seen in newer luxury buildings. The 366 residences are a mix of 1 to 6 plus bedroom units. 
One bedrooms are between 840 to 1260 square feet. Two bedrooms are between 1032 to 2600 square feet. Three to six bedroom units range between 2200 and 5500 square feet. Within some of the one to six bedroom layouts, there are configurations that include den spaces. The Ritz-Carlton residences come with the services you would expect from a five-star hotel. Residents have access to on-call maintenance and maid service, ensuring that their homes are functional and clean at all times. Additionally, the option of room service brings the luxury of hotel-style dining directly to the owner's doorstep. The concierge will book appointments, handle deliveries, and bring up a car from the valet or self-park garage. Every unit comes with a landline that has direct contact to the concierge. On the first floor of Tower 2 and across the street from Tower 1, Equinox Fitness Center is of easy access to residents and offers state-of-the-art fitness facilities. These include cutting-edge fitness equipment and expert personal trainers. Residents at 2 Avery Street can press the gym button in the elevator and are instantly at the number one rated gym in Boston. Further up on Avery Street is an artesian bistro that offers direct-to-door catering for residents at no extra cost. Steps away on Washington Street, there is a Nero Cafe as well as a Legal Crossing, which is a popular restaurant and bar. Living at the Ritz-Carlton residences also comes with the advantage of discounted rooms at Ritz-Carlton hotels worldwide. This allows residents to experience the renowned luxury and hospitality of the brand wherever they travel. Located right in front of Boston Common, the Ritz-Carlton has a prime location that offers residents convenient access to renowned institutions, landmarks, shopping, and dining destinations. After its completion in 2001, the Ritz-Carlton transformed the downtown crossing in Theater District neighborhood, giving it a new upscale feel. As previously mentioned, the Ritz-Carlton is seated close to the country's top educational institutions and hospitals, with travel times of approximately 15 minutes, Longwood Medical Center and Mass General Hospital are easily reachable, making commutes for those who work in the medical district quick and easy. The building allows for a short commute of around 20 minutes to Harvard University and approximately 15 minutes to both Boston University and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. The Financial District, Boston's commercial hub, is a five-minute walk away, making it convenient for professionals working in the area. The Ritz-Carlton is in close proximity to various shopping, dining, and entertainment options such as the vibrant downtown crossing area and the historic Beacon Hill neighborhood. Newbury Street, 10 minutes walking distance and 5 minutes driving, is one of the top 10 shopping and dining districts in the country. With easy access to public transportation and Logan International Airport within approximately 15 minutes, travel throughout the city and beyond is seamless. In terms of demographics, downtown Boston has a population of around 13,000, consisting of young professionals, retirees, and families. 40% of residents are between the ages of 18 and 34. 23% are between the ages of 35 and 54, and 26% are between the ages of 55 and 65 and over. 26% of residents have a bachelor's degree and 47 have a master's degree or higher. The median household income is $150,000 with 48% earning more than that. The pricing of units at the Ritz-Carlton varies depending on factors such as size, floor level, and customizations. Over the past three years, 61 units have traded hands, with the average sales price being $1.8 million. The average price per square foot is a little over $1,000 per foot, increasing as you go up in floor level and size. One-bedroom layouts range between $525,000 to $965,000. Two-bedroom units go between $1.1 and $2.8 million. Three bedrooms and over start at $1.7 and go up to $7.2 million. If you're interested in renting, the average monthly rent at the Ritz-Carlton is $4,900. However, there are rentals available anywhere between $2,500 and $29,000 per month. In terms of taxes, residents of the Ritz-Carlton are subject to property taxes based on the assessed value of their units. The exact amount will depend on the specific unit and its valuation determined by Boston tax authorities. However, a tax rate of between $6,000 and $82,000 per year is to be expected. HOA fees are determined by the square footage of the unit and will likely cost between $1,500 and $8,200 per month. To provide a better example, a one-bedroom unit at the Ritz-Carlton with 805 square feet recently transacted with a reported HOA fee of $1,100 per month and a tax rate of $10,000 per year. When deciding if the Ritz-Carlton is right for you, it's important to consider its drawbacks as well. The Ritz-Carlton is much older than comparable buildings within the area being constructed in 2001 and therefore not having the most up-to-date appliances and finishes. While the buildings have great concierge services, they do lack amenity-wise with very few common spaces and programs. 
The buildings at 1 and 2 Avery Street have excellent panoramic views, however the residences at 3 Avery Street, also part of the Ritz Carlton, are not very high up and therefore have mediocre views. While the building provides a sanctuary of luxury, the urban environment might not be suited for those seeking a more tranquil and secluded living experience given its central city location. Overall, the Ritz Carlton is regarded as one of the most luxurious residences in Boston. It is a top pick for those who work in Boston or want to reside in an exclusive luxury environment. If you're interested in touring units at the Ritz Carlton or have questions about Boston real estate, I'm ready to assist you. Check the description to book a meeting, email, or call me and stay tuned for more in-depth videos on Boston real estate and luxury condo buildings.